I found the best MacBook accessories if you're the type to take it everywhere, always run out of storage, or just want to protect your screen from prying eyes. Plus, I'm sharing the one accessory I count on personally every single day that I would run back home if I forgot it. So let's check it out. This is the tech pouch I personally use on a daily basis. The Evergood Civic Access Pouch is a two liter bag packed with so much organization. Your mom might actually believe you have your life together for once. Dual sleeves on the front face for quick access of tools, cards, and even pens with direct access for the top pocket. I store my card readers, cables, and earphones in here. Basically things I know I'll need on the fly. Getting into the meat of the bag though is where it gets interesting. Using some pyramid voodoo magic, they've designed it to completely open flat. Not not only giving you visual access to every pocket, but it sits flush on the desk, basically doubling as a desk tray too. There's one large compartment that's lined with sleeve pockets if you need it, but hides flat if you don't. A zippered pouch down the middle to split the bag, great for flatter or smaller items from flying around. Then the backside that could double as a giant pouch area too, but the larger and taller sleeve pockets make for perfect SSD, cleaning tools, and battery holders too. Overall, quality is the name of the game here, which you can tell they thought of with the reinforced stitching with areas that get stretched and pulled on constantly but the rest of the bag also doesn't feel cheap or like anything is going to fall apart anytime soon either which is great for your wallet but terrible for your need to constantly buy new toys because this is a pouch you get that will probably last a lifetime and definitely last longer than any laptop or even bag you pair it with. They even include a flush top handle, perfect to grab in and out of bags. And thanks to the dome-like shape with a flat top and back, it's like adding a bottom shelf inside your bag. So the only question left is, which color are you going with? Dealing with chargers, kind of suck. You've got the actual thing you need to plug into the wall, then figuring out how to store the cables properly. But in the end, you're going to forget one or the other anyways, because you're a complete klutz. Like that song goes, hello, darkness, my old friend. <clears throat> Don't worry. Now you can have the worst memory and still remember to take everything with you. Thanks to Taurus's new Flexline 67 watt retractable charger. Simply put, it's got a cable built right in. So essentially it's impossible to forget to take with you. They still manage to make this fairly compact as well. Thanks to the folding prongs and the magnetic USB-C head that folds flat auto magically. In use, it works exactly how you think it should. You plug it in, pull it out, locking exactly at the distance you want it to. And while it won't charge your MacBook at the fastest as possible speed 67 watts can handle keeping you juiced up through your vibe coding sessions or something with the best part being it is fast enough to charge all your other devices too your phone airpods tablets and gaming devices too don't worry unlike your other flimsy cables the flat design passes our tug and torture test because you will be tempted to do this all day seeing it all packed away is strangely satisfying because this was you 20 minutes ago and this is you now a better man the curved edges and squared off design fits easily into any pouch or jacket plus the additional usb-c port means you could share with your friend too that doesn't own one of these bad boys yet the shell is also flame resistant which taurus wanted us to point out and i ain't saying no to playing with fire bonus points they also offer magsafe batteries as thin as the iphone air is but the star of the show is this fidgety charger links and details down below personally i never cared for legs on my macbook but these alumu g07 pop-up kickstands have me questioning if i'm actually a feet guy or not because i sort of love them now uh, on my macbook that is because a macbook fidget toy was not on my 2025 bingo card and having them be actually useful is a double whammy raising your laptop about 15 degrees which not only lifts the screen but also gives your arm a break when typing all those one star reviews on google for all you Karens out there. It passes our scientific poke tests. Not only does it not fall over, but the adhesive stays on firmly too. Sure, it does add a slight bump on both sides, but better than other stands that add a whole textbook to the bottom of your laptop. This is lightweight, actually looks pretty sick, and can still be used laying flat too, albeit with a slight wobble. However, being able to play with the spring-loaded mechanism at all times is four times better than watching Subway Surfer videos to stay focused. Plus, I guarantee that the girl you've got a crush on will ask, what's that? Although she might be referring to something else on you. It's one of those accessories that doesn't hurt to have with you as it adds no bulk and can still slide in and out of bags without causing any issues. If you've ever used Dropbox, Google Drive, or even iCloud to save your photos, videos, and other accounting files, then you know that one, they start to cost a lot, and two, 
they can be really slow to transfer to. So fun fact, you can actually set up your very own cloud file service and Ugreen has made it surprisingly easy to do so. That, yes, even you can do it, Steve. It would only cost a one-time fee of about $520 to own 16 terabytes of storage forever. Compare that to Google Drive at $50 a month to have similar storage space, that would cost you $600 every single year. I've set up a few storage systems in the past and will admit that this was probably the easiest one yet, especially since you could do it all through your phone. And if you want to nerd out, you've got all the RAID options included, multi-user support with privileged access, and my favorite, the ability to auto magically back up your phone through Wi-Fi. Combine that with the Mac app, they've made this interface so easy to navigate that you'll start to think you're some IT expert. For the price though, you're still getting a pretty fast one gigabit connection. And when compared to trying to upload it to Google with a wired internet connection for the fastest upload speeds possible, possible, I'll let the numbers do the talking. Transferring to the NAS is freaking fast. Plus, with NFC support built into the front, it makes sharing as easy as just tapping your phone on it. And being able to monitor, control, and access all your files on your phone means you never have to worry about losing any files as you can simply pull it up anywhere in the world with an internet access. So save 20% off, code and links down below, which is the same deal you'll get on Black Friday. So get in early. You know I wasn't gonna do a MacBook video without showing off one of our favorite bags. Plus, wait till the end of the video if you're into messenger bags instead, but the new Air Slim Pack 2 has one job, to carry and protect your laptop. Designed for the city life when you're trying to pack light and not get yelled at for wearing a backpack on the train, it packs all the great features from their classic lineup, padding everywhere, water resistant materials and zippers with plenty of organization inside as well. It's got a top loaded sleeve pocket so it doesn't bog down the main pocket below, smaller zippered and sleeve pockets so your knickknack paddy wax don't get lost in the abyss, and while not the largest main compartment, it's technically not designed to carry more than a sandwich and a pouch anyways, as the padded sleeve on the back panel is the star of the show. You're not gonna travel or haul laundry around with this. It's basically a fancy briefcase in a backpack layout. No water bottle pockets, but there is a quick access pouch on top, and the fact they include the quick release Fidlock chest buckle is a win in my books. This one is for the minimalists who wanna avoid being late for the office again because they couldn't squish their backpack in onto the train during rush hour. Just don't be that guy. For a really long time, I didn't understand why anyone would want this until I tested it myself. And I can confidently say having your phone right next to your laptop screen makes it 10 times more convenient to doom scroll. But if you're gonna do it anyways, why not make it easy on yourself with the Rolling Square Edge Pro Kit, a folding metal bar that magnetically attaches to your screen, giving you a MagSafe mount right on your laptop screen. It's detachable when you actually wanna stay focused, but they also include useful accessories like a wireless charger and a light to pair with it. Installation was simple, the sticky back mount stays on even when we tug at it, and the magnets are hella strong, passing our scientific poke test. The light attachment runs off battery with a few brightness settings combined with the friction hinge so you get that perfect angle on every zoom call. It's the ultimate modular iPhone mount system that basically disappears when you don't need it anymore. Magnets, am I right? Now, if you wanna set up a battle station to tackle all 69 emails in your inbox, there's the Peak Zook Cyber Stand. It's this all metal chunker that's got wings, sliders, and even ratcheting gears too. Honestly, 80% of its value is in how cool this is gonna look on your desk. But also functionally, with dual hooks on the bottom and top of the frame, combined with the adjustable and locking angles, plus a multifunctional top plate, you could just use this as a really badass stand for your favorite collectibles too. It's lined in a rubber so it won't scratch your gear and while the headphone stand is friction fit it's strong enough to double as the most epic display stand too if you love working at starbucks for the free wi-fi the logi keys to go version 2 keyboard is a must-have so you can at least make it feel a little more homey the flat chiclet style keys are my personal favorite very similar to the macbook's own flat style keys dull silent and way quicker to type on for me personally, with the extra benefit being how easy it is to carry around too. The attached front hard shell cover keeps everything protected and barely adds any girth. And when folded 360 degrees around back, it magnetically attaches to the back so it doesn't flip flop around while you type. 
Plus with how lightweight this is, it includes a row of function keys, arrow keys, a large space bar, and it actually runs on batteries, which is why this can be so thin to begin with. Seriously, when tucked away, it's about as thin as my daily essential. The smooth finish makes sliding this into pockets a breeze, no keycaps catching, and barely any weight added, which makes it great when held together with just your laptop too. And with the multi-device support, you can swap between three devices with a single click of a button. Yeah, it's that thin. Viewing your accounting video files in public can be a little risky. So adding a privacy screen protector is a safe bet to ensure no prying eyes can see how low your bank account really is. The beauty of the Speakin Safe View screen protector though is that it's removable and reusable. Something I didn't think was possible with screen protectors. But thanks to the magic of magnets and a little washable strip of sticky tape, you can simply snap it onto your screen and let the bottom stick into place. That's it. Now anyone who's walking by or peeping at an angle will just see a black screen, all while you can still clearly see everything as long as you're directly in front of it. That being said, we did have a thickness issue as the screen wouldn't stay completely shut anymore. This might be because we had a skin on the MacBook. Not an issue when you stuff it in your bag, but something to keep in mind if you tend to just leave it shut on your desk. That being said, we wanted to test the reusability by removing and installing several times. Essentially trying to dirty up this strip of tape, then washing it clean, and well, bam it surprisingly still worked like it was brand new. Plus, if you don't need it for whatever reason, you can also just store it away, which is the first time I've done that for a screen protector. I actually found a sling style messenger bag that fits my 14 inch MacBook, but just barely as it's designed for 13 inch laptops at most. This is the Alpaca Flight Satchel, which has organization on deck. Dual water bottle pockets with a mesh bottom to let it drain, front quick access pockets, water sealed of course, and split for extra organization inside, large paracord zipper pulls for easy handling, combined with the waterproof ripstop nylon on the inside and outside of the bag. A full zipper across the top for an aerial view of all your pockets and gear, with a large section in front for accessories and pouches, combined with a Velcro strap padded sleeve along the back for added protection for your most precious items. Other than that, it's got a large zipper pocket inside, but mostly leaving it up to you to organize here. But the real gem is the hidden rear pocket that sits on your body, great to hide cash, passports, or your phone as well. As this is meant to be a travel bag after all, but with the added padding on the thick shoulder strap, this makes for a convenient day-to-day -day sling if you don't want to look like you're just getting out of second period wearing a huge backpack. The large pockets make pack easy and the all black finish gives total corporate office spy type vibes too. For more EDC tech and collectibles, sign up to our newsletter Supply, where we email you every week to share all the extra deals we find that couldn't make it in this video. But that's it. I rest my MacBook accessories.